Howdy folks, my name is Paul. Welcome to my kitchen counter. Tonight I'm going to try to replace the spindle motor here, wherever it is, there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, you may remember the video where I tried to re replace a spindle on this and another drive. Uh, I was successful on the other one and I totally, I don't, I don't know what I did to this one, but it doesn't spin anymore. So, I bought some new ones. And I'm going to try to replace it and see if that works. So, I'm going to get this out of here. I didn't plug it in when I was done the last time because I knew I was going to have to come back and do something like this. Now, if you'll notice, the spindle motor does not have a little connector. So that's why I have my soldering iron. That's why I have so many extra tools out. I'm going to cut this and solder it on there. And hope I hope it works. I always try to get prepared with everything I need, you know, because I don't keep my tools in the kitchen. This little guy wants to hold you nice and still. I always like to make sure that the solder didn't, you know. get where it wasn't supposed to be so nope no continuity there that's good that's how it's supposed to be now you might say to yourself you know they make a tool for this. Wire strippers? And I say, yes. Yes, I do. Uh, mine just don't work on a, such a small gauge. So, I use a knife. Knife and a finger. Let's see if I can do this better than the last time. You guys didn't see the other time I did this. It, it's not pretty, not pretty at all. But it worked to an extent. The motor spins now, but I uh, 
it won't read a disc. I think there's a problem with the laser on the other disc drive now, so that's unfortunate, but okay, let's get this on here. We've got Tokyo Drift going on outside. See, it was about that ugly, but worse. I think a big investment I need to make is a new soldering iron with a smaller tip. It's just so clunky. And I'm not very good. So, there's that too. Looks a little better. I mean, I know there are exposed wires there, but a bit of clump of built up solder there. But hey, let's see if it connects. Or if it's, if it's connected. Big clump. Well, shoot. This is what I was worried about. Again, just a terrible job. Dear Lord. Yay, I finally did it. How many tries was that? Was that? Six? Seven? Too many. That's how many. Too many. So let's get this off of here. Oh yeah, this goes in here. There's a little kind of bracket thingy. I like brackets. I like that word. It's a nice word. I'll put a new a new spindle on it. So now I can slide this.
go. I didn't screw them back in because I'm going to be opening this back up to try to test it or put the connector there, get this drive out and put it in a different one. So, But for now, that part's done. So cross it off. There we go. One thing down. Hopefully it works. And hopefully it's not just a problem with the, with the laser, because that would be bad. As you'll be able to tell from the triumphant music of the game booting up at the end of this, the repair was successful. So, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you think your friends might like it, go ahead and share it with them. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe. I don't know what that button looks like, but hit it. And comment too if you want, that'd be cool. I gotta say, this is the uh, last video that's gonna be filmed at the countertop, even though it's in the name, because I'm moving in the new kitchen countertop. It is terrible for filming, not videogenic at all. But there is a garage and a workbench, so stay tuned and see what kind of stuff I'm working on next.